before you start it to before you start your presentations i would like to um explain and also read the short cv of mr muhammad galal muhammad uh, from qatar ministry of education and higher education yes this is the 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 uh, slide show uh, showing your short cv and i would like to read uh, a little bit about it uh, mr galal muhammad maybe uh, you are in the second presenter right now, and we are very happy to welcome you also in this in this uh, international conference. And Mr. Mohammed Galal uh, has been selected for several kinds of, of achievements and also being the winner of Global Teacher Award winner 2019 by AKS and also Teacher of the Year in Qatar 2019 by AKS, Amb Ambassador for Wakalet Cost prices, a do and code week, and you are very uh, famous, I think. And uh, then you are also the national coordinator at EU Robotic European Robotics, global speaker in the digital K12 online summit, and also uh, you are the A2 Microsoft Education Exchange 2020 Australia winner. I think so many experiences you have done, and also you have reached. And we would like to hear and listen the the, the experiences you 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 have. Okay, uh, please welcome uh, Mr. Mohammed Galal. The time is yours. Thank you very much, my brother. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Professor uh, Sharif, for your uh, wonderful and interesting presentation. Uh, I agree with you that it's very important to use uh, new modern techniques, uh, especially in education. Thank you very much for your presentation. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, everyone, and good morning from Doha, Qatar. Good evening, good afternoon uh, to all the keynote speakers, to all uh, the participants from different countries around the world. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the College of Educational Sciences in Indonesia for organizing such a great global event. Uh, thanks a lot for having me today and giving me the chance to be a part of this global event. Uh, thanks a lot for all, for all the keynote speakers today and tomorrow, especially Dr. Andy, Dr. Mutmainna, for their kind invitation. Uh, all the time I say that sharing knowledge is uh, the most important act of friendship, and because it's a way you can give uh, something without losing something, we are here today uh, during this hard time uh, from different countries around the world uh, to share and to collaborate together. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mohammed Galal, as my brother has just said. Uh, I am a teacher of English language. Uh, actually, I am from Egypt, but I live and, and work in Qatar as a teacher of English language, Ministry of Education and Higher Education. Uh, today, as I am uh, a Minecraft global mentor, uh, inshallah, I'm going to talk about uh, gamification in education. Uh, and one of the best examples of that is Minecraft. Uh, so my topic today will be about using Minecraft in, in teaching learning process uh, during and after COVID-19. Well, uh, my presentation has uh, four main points in this session, inshallah. Uh, the first one is uh, gamification in education. Uh, what do we mean by gamification and why it's important nowadays to implement such a kind of technology in our education? Uh, the second one, uh, what is Minecraft Education Edition? Thirdly, uh, ways to use Minecraft in the classroom. Last but not least, benefits of using Minecraft uh, nowadays in education teaching process. So let's start. Well, uh, the concept of uh, gamification of learning is an edu educational approach uh, that can be used to motivate our students to learn by using video games uh, that can help us to design elements and learning environments. Uh, let me say in another way, it's the process of transforming typical academic uh, components into game gaming uh, themes. Uh, theming your classroom in a gaming requires choosing a theme and refer, uh, uh, referring to everything in your class with gaming terms. Well, why uh, we should use gamification or what are reasons uh, to implement gamification in uh, our classes? Number one, uh, no stress. Our students play, enjoy, and learn without any stress. Uh, also fun and interactive. 
the gamification of learning it can help you uh, to create interesting and uh, entertaining your content. Uh, it's not meant to change or to turn your work into a game, uh, but it, uh, it does play on uh, the psychology that drives human engagement. So uh, using gamification in uh, your classes helps uh, you to uh, to achieve high level of engagement and cooperation in the classroom. Well, uh, also if you had to define uh, the single most impor important aim of uh, learning. Hello. Can you please mute your microphone, please? Uh, well, uh, if you had to define uh, the single most important aim of learning, uh, it must surely be about uh, to instill knowledge, new knowledge in your uh, learners. Uh, and as we know that uh, the more you engage your students with the learning process, uh, the more uh, you will gain, uh, you, your students will gain information and develop uh, their skills. Uh, also, gamification of learning allows learners to see the real world applications and the benefits of the subject matter. Uh, it helps more uh, to enhance uh, the learning experience. And we know that uh, many people are motivated by competition. So gamification provides opportunities for competition with others for uh, high scores, rewards, and the leader for this ranking, something like that. Well, uh, moving from uh, gamification to one of the best examples of gamification in education, which is Minecraft, as I have just mentioned. Uh, nowadays, all of us uh, know that uh, we, uh, uh, we can say that new generations spend most of their time uh, playing video games. And because they are moving so fast, we uh, shouldn't stop and we also uh, should move uh, fast. I think there is a must to redesign all curriculums to fit their needs and achieve our goals at the same time. We can say that motivation is considered one of the most essential parts of uh, education, of uh, teaching learning process. Uh, so we have to think of new modern, modern uh, teaching strategies and the methods uh, that can help uh, us uh, not only making our students engaged and more in, involved in the lesson, but also uh, help uh, them uh, to be more uh, enjoying while they are studying and learning uh, at schools or even uh, homes. According to a research by the National Center for STEM Elementary Education, uh, this one shows that a negative interest in science begins in elementary schools where about 33% uh, of uh, girls and boys in the fourth uh, grade express uh, their negative attitudes and by uh, grade uh, 8, almost 50% express negative attitudes. So uh, the point here is uh, how we can build uh, 21st century learning skills if we are not using 21st uh, century instruction techniques. Uh, actually, this is an important point and we have to think more about it. Uh, and as we know that the schools are closed in uh, most of countries around the world uh, and all uh, are turning to remote learning to keep students engaged, uh, here we have one of the best uh, tools that can help us and help our students to uh, to be in more engaged uh, in uh, teaching learning process. Uh, this is Minecraft Education Edition. This one is a new version of uh, the open world game Minecraft, especially designed for uh, education. It's an independent computer game uh, and virtual world environment that uh, ha now uh, we can say it has over 100 million uh, users of students and different people. This one, uh, uh, it's just like a game where you can dig and build different kinds of uh, 3D uh, blocks and shapes and explore. Uh, even you can, you, you can create your own uh, world. Uh, well, why we should use uh, this game in uh, teaching learning process or even uh, in uh, our classrooms? Uh, the first one, it's uh, the first important one is uh, this one is an easy access game. So anyone can play, can enjoy, and at the same time, uh, you can learn more about the content you have designed before. Uh, the second one, which I considered one of the most important reasons of using 
Minecraft in education is creativity. Uh, there is no denying that Minecraft provides students with opportunities for creativity. Uh, we can say uh, some of them uh, can explore extensive cave systems, for example, underground, while other players, uh, players uh, might build their houses and uh, learn more about different content. Uh, it helps more in developing digital citizenship skills and, of course, uh, 21st learning uh, skills like teamwork, leadership, collaboration, and pro problem solving. Well, uh, now uh, let's move to uh, ways uh, of how can uh, we use Minecraft Education Edition in education and teaching learning process. Uh, number one, we can say uh, it it help more it helps more in making history come alive and explore uh, real life places. Uh, there are many already created structures uh, in this game that you can import into the game and have students explore, like for example, Global Theatre in London, or uh, your students can start creating their interesting places. Two. Uh, Minecraft allows your students to build whatever uh, they want, so uh, you can make use of this opportunity uh, to have uh, them create models uh, when uh, you need to practice a unit, for example, about measurements and the proportions. Uh, you can visualize the concept of survival for your students by having them play the survival mode, uh, which demands player, uh, players to uh, take into account uh, resources uh, as uh, they build and expand their own uh, world. Fourthly, uh, visualizing and uh, visualizing the reading comprehensions. One of the best ways to improve how students display the reading comprehension is asking them uh, to create or to visualize the content uh, so that they can learn more about the parts of the story or even explore new information about characters of the story uh, when they uh, interact with uh, them uh, during uh, playing this game. Well, uh, here we have some examples of how uh, to use Minecraft in different subjects. Uh, for example, number one, uh, in science, uh, whether creating a 3D uh, model for your uh, of the human heart or uh, measuring anything, Minecraft can be used uh, to teach scientific ideas uh, easily. Math, uh, children can learn about the structures uh, shapes uh, and angles by building uh, them uh, fresh hand. Uh, in English language, uh, Minecraft lets the player uh, to be like uh, a storyteller building shapes uh, or building their own world about uh, any content. Uh, they also can uh, visit or even construct uh, their own models of uh, places uh, they read about uh, maybe uh, in uh, novels or uh, stories or uh, watch it before in any film or movies. Uh, history. Uh, students can participate in recreated simulations of famous places or famous events or engage uh, it in uh, the discovery of ancient civilizations and history brought to the life in, uh, let me say, like in a virtual reality. Uh, geography. Exploring uh, the various landscapes, uh, students can learn about mapping and the navigation using this amazing uh, game. Technology. Uh, Minecraft helps more in giving our students the opportunity uh, to build circuit components for, from scratch and design complex working models of anything. And also we have uh, economics uh, that can create complex economics, opening their own shops and so on. Actually, we have different ways we can uh, use or implement Minecraft in, uh, in teaching learning process. Well, uh, 
uh, now uh, let's move to the last point in my presentation, which I'm going to uh, summarize and conclude the benefits of using uh, Minecraft Education Edition in our classrooms. It's easy access. Uh, it helps more in uh, uh, inspiring confident exploration. And of course, uh, this one uh, helps more in developing 21 uh, first century skills like um, creativity, problem solving, uh, even we can say um, uh, communication skills and research. Uh, this one also like teamwork, we can say uh, that uh, 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 yani parents, not only students, can play it. Uh, parents also, uh, they can play uh, Minecraft and it can be great bonding ex exercise or a game for uh, the whole family. Uh, Minecraft uh, teaches resource management and while playing Minecraft, your children will get uh, exercise uh, their uh, geometry skills while playing. Uh, while playing Minecraft, uh, one of the coolest things about Minecraft is that other players are uh, constantly sharing their uh, custom-made uh, modifications, uh, maps, uh, immersive artwork, uh, and uh, all their works. Uh, this point helps uh, young people to explore their own ideas and to contribute together. And of course, it helps more in developing uh, their or achieving a high level of cooperation between students and even between students and their uh, teacher. Uh, finally, uh, Minecraft can be played by children uh, of uh, many ages. Uh, now, if you are interested in learning more and more about Minecraft, I highly recommend starting your uh, journey by joining this course, uh, this uh, path, learning path on Microsoft Educator Center. It's called uh, Minecraft Education Edition uh, Teacher Academy. Uh, it's a path of three sections uh, and 11 courses, uh, which focus on the use of Minecraft Education Edition as a teaching and learning tool uh, designed to support the stronger practices in uh, the learning environment. Uh, the courses are uh, divided into three sections of uh, topics uh, intended to uh, for uh, beginner, uh, middle level, or uh, and the last one, the advanced one. Uh, and by the end of uh, this learning path, you will become a Minecraft certified teacher and receive your uh, certified uh, certificate and uh, also a digital badge. Uh, just one minute, please. By the end of my session, uh, uh, I want to say this one is my, uh, this is, uh, you can go to educationminecraft.net and uh, find the more resources about your uh, subject. And uh, if you are uh, interested, you can find the more, uh, you, you can download, uh, um, let me say, uh, um, uh, lessons uh, uh, created for you. And here, uh, this is my uh, profile on uh, Minecraft Education Edition. If you are interested in uh, collaborating together, you, we can contact and we can uh, build or start our uh, global uh, project. Uh, finally, I'd like to uh, end my speech with uh, these words, which was said by uh, Henry Ford. Uh, anyone who stops learning is, uh, let me say, uh, old, even he was at 24, 80. Uh, so uh, anyone who keeps learning is uh, or stays young. Actually, I, I want to add uh, the last uh, thing. If you find yourself saying, uh, I can't, it's very hard to learn a new thing uh, in, in, nowadays, or uh, I am not familiar with the technology, just to try the word it and start your, uh, your journey and inshallah you will achieve your goals. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, your time and the consideration. Thanks a lot for having me today. Uh, these are uh, my social media accounts. If um, feel free to follow and uh, contact with me. Uh, thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Walaikum salam warahmatullah wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Gal, for your very inspiring presentation related to Minecraft, uh, because it is something new for us. I think. Uh, that Minecraft as a sandbox video game for various purposes, I think, which could be modified and also including edu uh, could be uh, 
I don't know, could be used for so many kinds of uh, aspects and also so many kinds of needs, especially and including educations for yeah. improving the quality of educations. I mean that, uh, you know, uh, and we, we, we should know that the, the Minecraft uh, for educations could increase our creativity and also citizenships teamwork, leadership, collaborations, as well as how to solve the problem. Oke, okay, Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, bahwa uh, Mr. Galal barusan menyampaikan materi terkait dengan Minecraft atau permainan video sandbox untuk berbagai kepentingan yang dapat juga dimodifikasi, termasuk dalam bidang pendidikan. Jadi buat Bapak Ibu sebagai pendidik, baik dosen, guru, maupun uh, pendidik dari sekolah informal atau madrasah informal, silahkan Ini adalah salah satu apa namanya salah satu inisiasi yang juga dapat kita manfaatkan terutama dalam menghadapi situ, situasi kondisi pandemi seperti ini dalam situasi new normal untuk bagaimana tetap meningkatkan kreativitas teamwork kemudian kepemimpinan aspek kolaborasi sampai kemudian memecahkan sebuah masalah dalam berbagai sistem pendidikan. Terima kasih. Thank you very much for uh, Mr. Galal once more and and also Thank please wait much, uh, for the the question and answer session uh, around uh, in the upcoming sessions. Oke, okay. 